G'day guys and girls, welcome back. Well, we've had a few little requests from people about the King's Dominator winch going in this Mahindra, in this bull bar. That is a standard Mahindra bull bar uh, that came on the vehicle when we bought it. So, without taking a whole bloody winch out, which is a, not going to happen, no, uh, I will just show you sort of how I put it in there. And I did it myself in an afternoon, so it's pretty simple. Um, if anyone's seen these king's winches they are really simple all the wiring on them is all just you know, plug and play it's, it's self-explanatory it's red to red black to black and there's a yellow over the back that goes to yellow and um so in these mahindras what you have is you'll see this bolt here and that plate that plate runs right through underneath and right to the back I don't know whether you can see that in there, but it runs right to the back. And that's a cradle. That is actually a winch cradle. And it had the bolts in it already to line up for the winch. Go away, you big idiot. Get out of here. And um, so all you do is drop that plate out and sit him on the ground. Now, it, because it's a little bit oversized, you undo these bolts here, undo all this stuff here where this plate is, and it will go backwards and down so it'll actually slide backwards and drop out on the ground it doesn't just go straight up it's sort of got a shimmy in and out to go uh, to get it out once it's out it's on the ground it's fine all i did then was throw a rope up over the top of the bull bar here down through the back of the grill there down around the winch and i just you know levered him up until the winch come up into position I did find that there's two little brackets back here. I'll just grab a torch to show you. That bracket there and that bracket there. I had to cut them off um, because they were the standard ones that come out and held up against the original bumper bar when they took the bull bar off and they left them there. So I just cut them off to get the winch in there. And all of his standard um, you know his car alarm system and everything else all stays there it doesn't move so all you do is lift the winch up into position and i held the winch up there tied the rope off on the top bar there and the winch was up here and then just put my cradle back into position and um sat him on his bolt holes because it won't fall out it'll it'll sit in there drop your winch back down bolt your four bolts up on your winch these fellas here got one there and one there and then just bolt your cradle down so you've got your your main bolts on your cradle and you've got one big fella back through here and these ones here and it is as simple as that the yeah cradle comes out goes down winch goes up cradle goes back in sit the bloody winch on it and bolt it up and then you just tuck your wires up through here i've got mine running up through there i mounted my box up on top there and just uh, screwed into the top of the bull bar and run your wires in through your grill to your battery it is that simple. Um, as you can see, the winch fits in there with plenty of room around it. Uh, and you can get your hands in here to put him on the free spool or not, and just drag your cable out. The fair lead bolts up to these fellas here. And um, yeah, I, I can't explain it much more simple than that. It is on this one, you know, like I said, this is a standard bull bar that come on this vehicle. And, yeah, take the plate out, drop him down, lift the winch up, bolt the plate back in. And um, just make sure you cut those brackets off first once that cradle's out. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. And, uh, and it's a goer. So, yeah, that's all, all I did to get that winch in there. And um, as you can see, looks good in there. And on some of the other videos, you've seen it work. It works great. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't move off that cradle. That cradle's um, bolted to the bull bar right back in underneath. The bull bar's bolted on strong on these little things. And we pulled this thing out, plus that little cruiser in one of my other videos. And that was a single line pull off that 12,000 pound winch. Uh, and it dragged both those four wheel drives out and didn't once move the bull bar or pull that winch out of it. So. Works the charm. Hope this helps, guys. See ya.